speed is absolutely crucial here. Um, you fail fast in order to find the right market product uh, fit fast to help you succeed. And um, as a loyal disciple of the Lean Startup Theory, um, to me, uh, just using that to govern how I do business to help me launch with an MVP that's a minimal uh, viable product has been, um, I would say, very essential to the success of the two companies that I've run, Chinese Pod and Open Language. Both are web businesses that teach um, busy adults languages. But I think that's only part of the story. Um, it's not enough for the leader of the organization to know that. It's equally important to communicate that very clearly to your staff. And um, thinking back, I think I made the mistake of knowing that in my heart and didn't really communicate it to my staff. In the early days of my business, when um, our platform and system was still being developed, a lot of features and functions weren't working properly as they should. Um, you know, I've had staff who put in hundreds of hours of work entering content into the system only to have it disappear the next day. And instead of telling me, um, they probably thought they didn't want to disappoint me, they didn't want to bother me, so they would just um, spend a whole day um, duplicating that work. And I think it resulted in a situation where they felt very frustrated and they felt like the product wasn't going anywhere, it wasn't working properly. Whereas I think it's very important for both the leader and the staff of the organization to know that in an early stage, failure is part of the process and they need to communicate it clearly to each other so that you are all together um, working out the kinks of the product and then launching it to the market so that you can test your assumption about the market, about the product, to hopefully help you succeed faster.